Good morning and welcome back to Coffee Break. Do you have young kids heading back to school um, or maybe heading to school for the first time? Because it's a pretty nerve wracking time of the year then. Yeah, I, I mean, I like to block that out now that I'm an adult, right? Yeah. Like the first, but you always, I always felt that anyway, those first day jitters. It's like nervous excitement, like you're excited, but it's also like, especially if it's your first time, you've heard about school, but what really is it like to be there? <laughs> yeah, yeah, I never slept well the night before school mm, started. Yeah. I was always so nervous. Yeah. Yeah. Well, we have some books uh, that we would recommend reading with your kids to help them figure out what school will be like and maybe ease those first day jitters. Yeah. So the first one is a pretty obvious back to school book. Mm -hmm. uh, it's called Ready and Waiting for You. And I honestly wish I had had this book mm -hmm. when I was starting school because like I said, I was just, I was always nervous and especially like, I remember kindergarten like, I didn't have any older siblings. I had no concept of what school was actually going to be like. Yeah. I just knew that, like, they expected me to be here all day without my parents. <laughs> and I didn't want any of it. <laughs> it's like, no. I, I remember asking my mom if she would homeschool me and her explaining to me why that was not going to be an option. <laughs> I didn't understand. <laughs> Um, but yeah, this book, it's just like, it's so bright and cheery and welcoming. Mm -hmm. And like, it's got, um, I don't know, the, the artwork kind of reminds me of Sam Robinson, you know? It's oh, just, yeah. yeah, it's just very friendly and like, cold. Yeah, that's it. And it's got these big gateful pages. So like, you see all the people welcoming you to mm -hmm. school and everyone is happy to be there. Yeah. And it's just like, oh, cool, okay, this isn't going to be so bad, like, yeah. everyone here is super nice, and, you know. It really is, like, a what-to-expect book. Yeah. You know, it walks you through, here's the different doorways you're going to run into on your first day, and look, they're not scary, there's all of these nice people here. Right, and it's like, oh, hey, you'll have a principal, and a librarian, and maybe a school nurse, if mm -hmm. your school is wealthy, which mine was not. But, um, yeah, and I like that it kind of takes you through, you know, like, even, like, the crossing guard, so you're not right. like, who are you? Why are you talking to me? <laughs> it's good. Yeah. Yeah. So, if you have a first grader, um, they might be a little bit less nervous, because they've done this for a year or maybe two if they went to preschool, um, but, you know, still young. I think the excitement um, for first graders might be that they'll learn um, more reading and writing, you know? they'll at least get more of the basics down and start practicing that in school. And I think that's exciting, but also like, if you're not really an academic student already like at first grade, that can be also really nerve wracking. Yeah, yeah, if you haven't really read before and you're struggling to, mm -hmm. you know, figure out what these words are saying and then like every, it's, it's worse when the rest of your peers know what they're doing right? and you don't. <laughs> Yeah. I hate that feeling. Yeah. Back to Front and Upside Down is about this situation. Um, and it's just this really cute story of just a typical class assignment, you know, write a birthday card and teachers helping you copy things down. But, you know, it doesn't say explicitly whether um, the main character has learning difficulties or has dyslexia or anything. It, you know, it could be any of that. <laughs> so students might identify with, you know, Here's the teacher saying, all right, copy down happy birthday. The student can do it, the student can do it, the student can do it, like it's already done. And Stan, that poor little Stan is sitting here like, um, time is passing and I'm just not good at writing letters. <laughs> it's like when you're taking that test and everyone around you is scribbling and you have nothing and you're just sitting there like, oh God, like that, that's the feeling. <laughs> yeah. Um, but I think, you know, if, if students identify with little Stan who's not sure what to do, I think they'll also be encouraged by Stan courageously asking for help and everything turns out okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so. yeah, I really like that. It's like, you know, you don't have to get it on the first try, you know, like everyone struggles with something and mm -hmm. everyone needs to ask for help so there shouldn't be any embarrassment with it. And mm -hmm. like nobody laughs at him. It. Right. Yeah. In fact, another student, Mimi, says that she's also having trouble and could Miss Catnip help them as well? Yeah. So I think it's a really cute story that, you know, is still relatable. Adorable animals, 
always helps. <laughs> Another back to school book I really like is um, Little Naomi Little Chick. This is so adorable. I know, yeah. So it's uh, Naomi's first day of preschool, right? And you know, like, I don't think she's nervous at all, and she shouldn't be because she has the most awesome day. <laughs> like, she makes friends who like her little ladybug costume, mm -hmm. and she plays with blocks and has nap time and makes an art project. Mm -hmm. And like, it just takes you back, right? To yeah. preschool when everything was fun and easy. And it's like, <laughs> oh man, to be back there. Like, I didn't appreciate it when I was young. Right. Like, I didn't know how good I had it <laughs> at all. Yeah. yeah. So, yeah, I just, I don't know. Like, if and when I become a parent, I'm going to read this to, like, my preschool age kid and be like, cherish what you have. You don't know what you have until it's yeah. gone. <laughs> and really, you've only talked about half of this book. There's kind of, there's two stories going on here. Right. Yeah. So, like, um, Little Chick, he doesn't get to go to school because he lives on the farm, but he has a very sort of similar day. Like, she's making, like, finger painting projects, mm -hmm. and he's, like, tracking mud all over the <laughs> And, like, I don't know. I really like that their days kind of mimic each other. Uh -huh. So, yeah. Preschool is just as easy and fun as playing around outside <laughs> all day, basically. Yeah. That's what this book teaches you. Yeah. <laughs> but I think it's kind of a fun book. Um, mm -hmm. Maybe if you live on a farm, maybe if the oldest is going to school and the youngest is a little bit like a little chick and just hanging out in the dirt at home. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. See, you can do everything your older sibling is doing right here. <laughs> I thought it was especially important this year to include My Name is Sun Goal. Um, we actually talked about this book back in November when we talked about books for the refugee crisis. Um, and the refugee crisis is still going. So there is a chance that your child will have a refugee in their class this year. So this book is from the perspective of a Sudanese refugee named Sun Goal. Um, and I think it could really help if you have a kid coming home with questions about what is a refugee and why does this kid, you know, seem really shy or not know English even, mm -hmm. potentially. I think it works for any international student, really. I mean, like, yeah, this book is specific true. to refugees, but yeah, I mean, you know, you'll have, like, immigrant families who maybe don't know the language very well or mm -hmm. just don't know the customs or are shy and apprehensive. Yeah, yeah. And so I think it does a really good job of showing what um, Sun Goal felt like. Um, in this not only a brand new classroom, but a brand new country, um, which could also help your child figure out how to help this international student feel at home. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, I think it's kind of like, you know, like Sangul just wants someone to welcome him, you know, mm -hmm. he wants to feel at home. And mm -hmm. so when people start to accept him and, you know, like, just learn his name because no one could pronounce it. <laughs> yes. Like, yeah. simple things like that can yeah. help, you know, make people feel welcome and at home. Mm -hmm. So if you have any rituals for calming first day of school nerves, mm -hmm. uh, let us know in the comments. We'd love to hear from you. Yeah, or you can let us know on Twitter. We are at Coffee Break EvoIR. And don't forget to subscribe. Thanks for joining us, and we'll see you next week. Why is this book so cute? <laughs>